In today's video, we'll discuss some of the best render engines that you can use with Blender right now. This list will include both paid, free and open source engines to accommodate a wide range of needs and budgets as well as to assist you in rendering, some of which can render your project slowly, while others can render very fast. Talking about rendering fast, let me quickly introduce you to this cool render farm called Drop and Render. Drop and Render is a rendering platform that lets you render your projects using hundreds of GPUs at once without even leaving Blender. It is extremely powerful and will be a huge help for everyone who needs more rendering power. And it has a built-in add-on that allows you to send jobs with a single click. But more on that later. Alright then, since it is a Blender video, I think it is only fair to start off with none other than it is well-known render engine called of course Cycles Engine, introduced back in 2011. This physically based render engine quickly became a fan favorite among the community and was shipped with the software ever since, however, its notoriety reached a new height after releasing the Cycles X engine in Blender 3.0 an optimized and enhanced version that was released to address the performance limitations of the previous engine. I mean, to accelerate the rendering times, especially on modern hardware, which can be beneficial, especially for animation. Moving on to the next engine, which is gonna be Octane, one of the pioneers of modern GPU accelerated rendering techniques, as it is one of the earliest and fastest and biased render engines. On a side note, this render engine is really popular among Cinema 4D users, especially in motion graphics. Anyways, its engine whose entire philosophy is built around speed, thanks to the ray tracing features it supports, which allows us to render, edit, and visualize our scenes in real time. And it offers multi-GPU rendering for further speed enhancement, and it supports what is known as open shading language, enabling you to create your own shaders or import custom shaders from other software, which can be really, really great. Next we have RenderMan, one of the most exciting tools on the list, since it is an in-house tool brought to you by Pixar Animation themselves. They have used it for rendering most of their animated productions, and while its origin isn't the clearest of the bunch, it can be traced back to when Steve Jobs bought the computer division of Locusfilm to transform it into the independent company that we all know today as Pixar Animation Studios back in 1986. So RenderMan Engine started to gain momentum in the late 80s and 90s, until it became one of the most popular engines in Hollywood ever since, and it got used in all sorts of VFX projects from absolute classics such as Terminator 2 to modern titles such as Avatar, and I'm talking about the new one, The Way of the Water. RenderMan provides a free non-commercial version which is available for various 3D software, including a version designed for Blender. This grants you access to Pixar's industry standard set of tools at no cost, including an advanced lighting panel, layered materials, stylized features and filters, photorealism features, AI denoiser, and much more. And if you want real-time rendering right within Blender, we have of course Eevee. It was officially introduced with the now iconic 2.0 release and made a significant impact upon its debut due to the photorealistic real-time capabilities it offered, which was very unusual at the time for this type of software. But it is important to note that it is still not as powerful as Cycles. Nonetheless, it made professional artists from software such as Max and Maya seriously think about switching to Blender. On a side note, the launch of Unreal Engine 5 had a noticeable impact on Eevee's reputation as a viable rendering option, and this shift in perception was primarily driven by one significant issue, and it is the absence of global elimination. But fear not, since there is a solution for this concern because the issue can be addressed through the use of the free SSGI add-on for Eevee, which simulates the effects of global elimination to bypass the fundamental problem of the engine to achieve more realistic results and lighting. Now, let's redirect our focus to V-Ray, a hybrid being both biased and unbiased render engine. What's interesting about V-Ray is its path tracing features 
and additional support of real-time rendering. So, instead of relying purely on physical-based algorithms, V-Ray gives you a lot of creative control, with a wide range of lighting and shading tools, which simulates a variety of natural lighting options for both indoor and outdoor scenes, that could be easily adjusted to achieve the desired mood with just a few clicks. That's why it is popular in many, many fields, especially ArcViz and architecture, but it is also widely used in VFX, animation, commercials, you name it. If you can think about an all-around engine that can do a lot of stuff and you will find it in different fields, probably it's gonna be V-Ray. Now we have Redshift, a relatively recent engine compared to the other ones, but it is an industry standard rendering software. It made its debut back in 2012, as it was developed by veterans from software and game development studios. So, the driving force behind their venture led to the launching of their company called Redshift Rendering Technologies, which was to build a GPU-based render engine that could make the process of 3D art creation faster compared to the other CPU-based render engines, which were more common at the time. And when we look at the notoriety Redshift developed in the industry today, we can only say that it was a success. With Redshift being a purely GPU-based render engine, an artist can take advantage of the graphics card's processing power to the utmost limit to achieve outstanding photorealistic results. This is the case because Redshift is a whole package, and it has global illumination, physical correct lighting, denoisers, and many, many other tools. Also, it is really fast. For our next engine, we have D5 Render, a software that tries to offer an alternative to the real-time rendering solutions found in Blender and many other 3D software. It was first released in 2021, which means it is really new, but D5 quickly started to establish a reputation of being fast, and increasingly it became a good alternative for mainly ArcVis, since it has great functions such as an interactive, real-time engine that allows us to see our 3D projects in real-time or synchronizing visualization of our designs which are being updated instantly and give us precise previews. Additionally, it comes with hundreds of PBR materials and it has a system for generating weather, as well as a ridiculous collection of assets of more than 10,000 I believe, both still and animated, which makes it yet an interesting software for rendering in combination with Blender. Next up we have Radeon Pro Render, developed by AMD, which is actually a supporter of Blender's development since they are contributing to the Blender's development fund. And so it is only natural for their free rendering engine to be compatible with Blender, right? Now, it is a physically based render engine that features its own native material and camera system, along with global illumination and other stuff. Additionally, it can simultaneously balance and distribute the computational power between numerous CPUs and GPUs within the same system, and it can do it at the same time which is incredible. But hold on, there's one more detail to be aware of, and that it is a fairly specific render engine, basically being created by AMD and optimized to work with their GPUs, which is the catch. It could be a bit tricky to run it on other types of hardware. However, if you have an AMD GPU, there is no reason not to download it, especially considering the fact that it is free. If you need another render engine, we have also LookScore Render, officially released back in 2008. Basically, it is an unbiased ray tracer which provides the source code of their work under the terms of GPL license and thus making the program free. LookScore uses both OpenCL and CUDA, meaning that it runs on any number of CPUs and GPUs that are available on your machine and it also offers many advanced features that you can expect from a modern rendering engine. But it also has accelerated rendering of indirect lighting and caustics, as well as light group systems that is used to render different parts of light separately, in addition to other stuff, making it a good option if you want to try a new render engine for free. Now, if AMD has a render engine, Nvidia must have one as well. If this was your guess, you're right, we have NVIDIA Omniverse, released by NVIDIA in 2022, and arguably the most unique tool on the list, 
But why is that exactly? In simple terms, it is a platform that enables us to connect different software together, including Blender, in addition to collaborating and working with large teams simultaneously to work on projects together. Now, for the rendering side of things, it comes with multiple rendering modes, such as real-time, path tracing, and ray tracing, with each having the ability, of course, to modify the render settings to match the quality and performance that you are looking for. So what does it have under the hood? Well, it comes with features such as multi-GPU rendering, its own material language, direct and indirect lighting, denoising, and the list goes on, making it one of the best solutions if you are a user of multiple software, or even for 3D animation, VFX, or game development studios. As you can see, all render engines are amazing, and recently they are becoming even more powerful. However, if you need more speed, there is an add-on built into Blender that can help you render fast. With just one click, the Drop and Render add-on enables you to submit your job to a render farm using any of the render engines. By doing so, you will have hundreds of GPU cards working at once on your project. It is fast and seamless, and it is designed specifically for Blender, making it the perfect choice for any Blender artist who needs fast rendering. It is as simple and seamless as local rendering, so to start using Drop and Render right now for free, click the links down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.